Today in Foxhole, we're going to be destroying a cheetah, whatever this is. We're going to start at the very bottom and kind of work our way up and around the hex so that we can uh, just absolutely ruin the entire zone. That's what we do on this channel. We go around in Foxhole and we brief as much as possible before we're banned. Let's get started. So if a few of the tactics that we use is... We will take vehicles, change the fuel, lock the vehicle, dump the fuel on the ground. When no players are around after 10 minutes, that despawns. I currently don't have a wrench to unlock other vehicles, but there are still plenty of ways to grief. Uh, and just, uh, we're also going to be unplugging power lines in entire facilities. That's going to cause a lot of issues later on when people try to use these buildings. It's super simple. You go up to a power pole and you just click one button and ta-da! We've disconnected several wires. We can continue to do this throughout the entire hex. This is also a very huge one, finding concrete mixers and dumping the concrete. Super, super time consuming. This is hours and hours and hours wasted of this concrete mixer stuff. Now, if I had a vehicle, I could empty it a little bit faster, but this is still pretty damn quick. Uh, again, do this every time you see these concrete mixers. And that is going to cause insane amounts of problems, especially when all of this despawns. The owner will be able to see that I pulled it out of their machine, though. So there will be a log of it, and eventually he will start crying in the world chat if he logs in. And uh, then I'll get, I'll get banned, but it's whatever. The concrete is already gone. We can also pack it up. There we go. Again, power lines. There are a few players around, so it's a little risky right now to be doing this. But either way, just disconnecting all the power lines... Huge, huge, huge. Look at that. It, it takes seconds to do, and it is super, super destructive. <laughs> All those are disconnected. Disconnect that one, and there we go. Everything has just been dewired. Dewire this one. Again, this, this causes such a massive headache and backlog. Also, these little cabooses, you can, uh, you can lock them because for some reason they're not really locked. Now, this one is being, like, used or owned by a company or whatever, or a squad, so I can't really do much there, but it's, it, again, just, just wasting hours of people's times in mere seconds. All right, I have unpowered this entire little town here. Now, I didn't unlock all the vehicles because there were some players around, so I just dumped everything out of everything that I could and depowered the whole thing. So now I'm headed east, and we're going to circle around this whole hex, so that is one out of like, I don't know, 10 or 11 towns. And yes, it's uh, quite a work days ahead. No one has noticed yet in the chat. We are so far so good. To see a concrete machine that's turned on. And uh, yeah, it's got 20 minutes left on its concrete mix. So uh, fun times. Fortunately, uh, we have to empty everything before we can turn it off. Now, um, obviously I can't take the components out, but I can take the concrete out and dump it. So, of course, that's what we're going to do. And uh, there you go. So, if it takes 20 minutes uh, to make 500 of these, or 50, and there's 200, and there's someone coming by, so I need to bail. Because they might have seen me do that. So, I'm going to check with my binoculars now. And what did they do? Did they stop? Did they turn around? Where did they go? I'm not sure where they went, but I might have been spotted there. Anyway, uh, looks like they kept driving, so... We're going to continue dumping. It's locked. Oh, well, no, it's not. Anyway, I'm going to keep dumping now. Yeehaw. <laughs> hey, they just made this too easy. It's just so easy to dump everything on the ground. If no one comes by in 10 minutes, it's all going to despawn. Of course, we lock it. And uh, there you go. They have to wrench all of these open, but I've already taken all the wrenches from the area. Which they, they're going to have to craft more wrenches, but they will have no power to craft the wrenches. Because I am ripping out all the power cords everywhere. So it's just going to be... It's just complete and utter chaos and failure. People probably just won't log back in. They're going to have to climb all the way back here in these back lines. Fix every single little wire that's been yoinked out. And I'm still undetected so far. We've been doing this for just a little bit now. Not too long. Gotta make sure to check these facilities, because sometimes they'll just have materials that I can quick pull. And uh, that's just a whole lot more waste. Let's see, yeah, nothing there. 
But uh, you can see that uh, I've got my work cut out for me. We've griefed several areas now, and uh, this is the next one I'm working on. Someone is uh, mad that I'm locking cranes, so that's something. That's a little bit of heat in the chat while I empty this concrete mixer. There's so many concrete mixers in the back lines. Oh, man. So, so many. Oh, yes. All right. Let's empty this bad boy. Technique. Instead of manually clicking, I'm using a macro, so check this out. I... I empty it here and then I just swipe my mouse. Hold on, let me try that again. There we go. Just swipe my mouse and all deleted so I can very, very quickly empty out these concrete mixers now. Fucking cool stuff, am I right? Saying in South Paradia, there is a warden who locks and empties the vehicles. So uh, people are starting to get a little sussy baka. Um, looks like I'm going to have to speed up my trolling now, but uh, we've pretty much depowered and emptied out so many things. Just the concrete mixers alone make this super, super worth doing. It is insane just how much damage we've already managed to do. Damn, this one has a thousand concrete. Let's see how fast we can dump it then. Oh yeah, that's so much faster, dude. Look at that. Mmm, that's like near instant. If only I could macro the part where I go in up to the right to, to click the damn box. There's gotta be a faster way, but look at that. We've already emptied like 200 of these just on the ground in a second. Oh yes, this is power. This is incredible amounts of time waste. How much concrete have we dumped this game? I don't know, but we're going back to the to the grass ages. Not even concrete ages. No stone age for us. No, no, no. No paved roads. Only dirt roads. Only uh, back to the uh, grass roots, as one could say. Look at that. I've dumped half the stack in seconds. It's great. This is another fun thing. I thought whenever you drop materials that they would stay forever, but this... All of this just got dropped on the ground. If no one frickin' comes and gets it, it's gone forever. Good to notice, uh, let's see, it's like, uh, gotta love finding your facility just altered. How so? Turning off tunnel nodes? Disconnecting all the wires. Didn't get them all because I happened to pass by. <laughs> yeah, some guy was following me a bit ago, I was like, oh shit. Well, I hit return home and now I'm redeploying back to a different part, so I did have to give up my wrench and my shovel and my binoculars, uh, which is unfortunate, but I haven't been wrenching cars. I'm just kind of missing the binoculars a little bit. Uh, regardless, it's still uh, pretty good that we can, you know, run around in, in grief. Now, uh, I learned in the chat that the reason they even discovered that griefing was happening is they heard someone locking vehicles. So maybe I should just skip the locking of vehicles, but I, I can still dump the gas out. As you can see, like, this is completely covert. I can just literally run up and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> unplug the power lines there's no noise so it's very disruptive but if i lock a vehicle then people start getting a little suspicious and i don't want that i just want to be able to run around undetected as for as long as possible deal as much damage as possible before people start saying to mass report me uh so you can see that like one guy ran up to me and said man i already on full damage control but i logged out really quick so i don't know if he caught my name or not since i was kind of bobbing and weaving behind buildings but, uh, yeah, so we're still going to pull the gas out of vehicles and uh, just dump everything that we can out of buildings. So take the gas out. doesn't make any noise, but locking makes a loud noise. So for now, we're going to... Whoops, well, I just did it. So uh, now people might be alerted if they're around. I don't have binoculars to see around me very far, so who knows? Let's see what happens. These little construction vehicles, because they can have lots of crafting materials inside, and so those are always worth unlocking and dumping on the ground. Uh, sometimes, you know, these little flatbeds too, if you're just wanting to take a break, we might as well wrench some of them open, see what we can dump out. After all, they are parked conveniently over here. Might be loaded full of goodies, let's find out. Not today, but that's still another locked vehicle someone has to deal with sometime in the future. So, yeah, absolute fun times indeed. Pot, totally worth unlocking this vehicle for. And, uh, there we go. <laughs> Job well done. Yes, yes. Also, of course, got to, uh, well, let me get closer to the power pole and, of course, unplug all of these. Now, sometimes the buildings uh, won't let you unplug them, so you have to unplug it from the power pole because people forget you can reserve the power pole. So, uh, again, we can just shut down everything here. Still haven't been name-dropped in public chat yet. We've almost got this entire zone completely offline. There we go, again. Lots and lots and lots of just things being thrown on the ground, unplugged, 
power going down. This is just some of the best. This is very tightly constructed. I have to run around to get to the other side to grief it. So I'm going to continue on now. Down here. Uh, lads, pay attention. Someone is, re is region blocking everything and dumping the fuels and locking the vehicles. Uh, what creature is doing this? I don't know, but whoever they are, they removed all the wrenches from the places they are griefing. Yeah, and cut the electric cables and facilities. I am just... I'm, I'm getting famous now, man. I've almost got this entire region shut down. I just need, like, the very north part and then this middle area. And that's it. This Everything else has been completely blackened and ruined. In the chat, uh, they spelled my name wrong, though. So I might have a little bit more time before they start mass reporting me. Uh, but otherwise, I gotta make this quick. We're gonna just run in here and uh, see what kind of damage we can do. Uh, I mean, I've pretty much emptied all the... Uh, <laughs> every container... Ooh! I, I thought I uh, emptied every container, but that's big. Oh, they spotted me. Time to uh, return home. And, uh, <laughs> yes, 12 bands. Damn, that's a lot of bands. But there we go. We were spotted. We teleported back home. Let's redeploy a little bit further north. And uh, where were we at? We were right here at a cheetah. Let's go to the Thetis ring. Because there were people around. They saw me dump a few things. But if I'm quick, if they weren't paying in complete attention... Then uh, we might have gotten away with it. I'm going to go ahead and grab me a wrench. And he logged. Nope, I just changed places. I love the chat. There, uh, someone was like, what? he's like, report swole bid. Are you still spelling my name wrong? Why? Let's see. I uh, found him. He's the one ulting the bases. He has a long list of bands and reports. Literally walked right up to me and DC'd my gins and my crane. Mid-use has seven bands on his account. He cut all factory system. Uh, who I just got in Regents. Well, oh, now he's spelling my name right. Uh-oh, I gotta be quick. And, uh, well, I've already locked all these vehicles. Like, I've almost hit up this entire zone, but I don't have binoculars right now. Uh, so I'm just unlocking a few last vehicles before I switch zones again. Uh, it's like, uh, something look at violations log. <laughs> I'd like to check up on these concrete mixers I griefed earlier, and all the stuff is gone. Exactly. Oh, I guess I'm banned for three days. <laughs> Well, I managed to get the entire zone completely emptied of everything. Ah, it's so loud. But yeah, guys, I'm Soul Benji. Thanks for watching. It's another successful grief. We got the entire zone before we got banned. Uh, so three more days, <laughs> more videos after that, of course. And uh, I got some other stuff to show you real quick. I had a thread up since early September that said, What a new fun player experience. And it had 198 replies. Some of the most replies on this entire steam discussion where i just talk about my new player experience but if we go to the last page you can see the siege camp mod here was like due to the age of this thread and the fact that the topic at hand has been thoroughly discussed this post will be locked moving forward which was six hours ago which means they don't they don't want people talking about the actual new player experience of their game they don't like the fact that people like me or other solo players are having a horrible horrible time at this game but uh with that said guys i'm soul benji Thanks for watching. It was a lot of fun. Um, eventually, they did catch me, though, and it sounds like they caught me because I was locking vehicles. So I think on my next trolling attempt at Foxhole that um, we're just not going to lock vehicles because, um, you know, if you're just running around willy-nilly unplugging shit and they don't see it, then that's really hard to detect, right? And, uh, yeah, with, with that said, man, I hope you had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. I like to do this every three days, just completely shut down a whole region. I don't know how many hours I've wasted of people's time today, but it was a lot. A lot of damage was done, and uh, I don't think Colonials are going to win this war. It's going to be the first war that they've lost in a long time, but all because of me. And that's really cool. That's really empowering. That's really memorable. You know, I like to play games to make these memories. But guys, with that said, videos every day. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss tomorrow's video. And also, like the video. I read every single comment. I don't have a life. I don't have friends. I don't have family. I read every comment. Believe me. I'm not that big yet, and uh, <laughs> only 70k subs. I, c I can catch up and read every comment. Also, there's a video on the screen right now. Click it. It's going to be a good one. You'll like it. There's a Discord link in the description. If you want to help me troll and grief in video games, then feel free to join. I need to build a troll army so we can do this, not just me solo doing this. If I just had like four or five people with me doing this, we could close down the whole map before we got banned, and that would be so crazy and so cool. And not just this game, but all games. Guys, thank you so much. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss tomorrow's video. Take care.